Hello guys, uh, this is just a short video on how to open a power distribution module in uh, BMW X5 2011 six cylinder it's a petrol powered engine. I have already opened it. Uh, I'll just show you the details. Here is the part number. You can see the part number in mine. My car has a no start problem. It cranks, but uh, the engine won't start. All the connectors are just uh, plug and play. It's easy. Uh, only this one needs uh, 11 millimeter ratchet, and that is what I used. Now, going to the panel. I have broken a bit, you can see that. It's really thin. You don't have to keep your blade more than three millimeter. If you keep it more than three millimeter, it might screw up the board. So you can see the space between uh, the plastic body and the circuit board is too low. So be careful with it. And from here, you can just see this is the main uh, positive coming from the battery I guess I'm not sure about that I don't have any experience regarding this one I just uh, tried to open whatever parts uh, I feel comfortable to open or if it's not available in internet so you can just push it from here and here and the board will come up You see this? This is the power distribution module, which when I saw, I was really surprised. I did not expect these fuses inside, which is normal fuses, which is available in the market. Uh, I'm not an expert anyways. And when I checked the fuses, I found the last one to be uh, blown out I have uh, already changed it this was a fuse which was there when I opened the board you can see it it has been blown out and I replaced it with a similar 15 amps fuse and it's back in position uh, rest all the fuses seem to be okay I don't know about the release I don't have any experience in checking the release so uh, this is easiest thing I can do and check in my car so I'm gonna just put it back and check uh, if my car starts or not uh, the car has a big history the car was lying in the garage for like seven months and the technicians uh, like not only one garage it was like three garages and finally one of the most expensive german garage the guy told me that i have to replace the dming they have to program it things like that but uh, i was not willing to do that because i did not feel like my dme is blown out i thought that they might just tell me something uh, to make sure I will pay them enough money so I took the car back uh, last week and opened up um, the wiring everything uh, first thing I did was I opened up the DME checked the transistors I found no problem with the transistor so I moved on to the power distribution module when I saw the power distribution module and when I opened it I found this fuse blown out so I was really happy seeing a uh, blown fuse uh, I don't know the reason but this weekend I will put this back to the car and check if it resolves my problem anyways if uh, you have a similar problem with the power distribution module if your garage asks you to change the power distribution module you can just 
take it from them a little bit open if any of the fuses are blown out you can just uh, change it and give it back to them to put in your car and test you don't have to spend like two hundred dollars just because your one of your fuses has been blown out it's really uh, less than a dollar for a fuse so if it helps someone I'll be really happy that's the reason I made this video so quickly uh, I have uh, also ripped out uh, the soft close uh, whatever you call comfort closing soft closing I found problem in that one also and I rectified the issue if someone has that uh, similar problem with a uh, door closing automatic closing just let me know and I will email you or message you back because I did not get time to make a video on that one sorry for that if someone has that problem just let me know regarding the door I did not find any YouTube videos uh, regarding the door soft close uh, so anyways have a good day thanks for watching